Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 40, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. If you remember, we spent the last episode hunting the locked boxes, especially the upgradable ones, and uh, we need to make a stop by Fiona's Shrine before we head back to the past to get the unupgraded versions of everything we just picked up. Because more loot. It always helps. But first, we need to head over to this brand new shrine that appeared. Uh, if you remember, every time we've gone through here, this area has been a bit of a wasteland. And because we helped Fiona plant the forest, we now have a forest and Fiona's shrine. This is Fiona's shrine. Here we give thanks to Fiona and Robo for reviving the forest scorched in the war against Magus 400 years ago. The remains of the venerable Robo are enshrined in the inner sanctum. My hats are woven from twigs rich with the mystical energies of the forest. Okay, that, that might be a bit... Oh. Ooh. Hats, you say? Alright, so the clarity cap can only be worn by the women. And it prevents confuse. Always nice. And it looks like it's got a defense of 30. Okay, good to know. Memory cap, I've already found one. That also has a defense of 30 and prevents lock. Oh wait, no. Those are wearable by everybody. That's just an upgrade for those two, those three. All right, and the time hat prevents stop and slow. And the vigilance hat Prevents all status ailments. Ooh. And that is a defense of 36. I'd be tempted to buy it just for the defense of 36, to be honest with you. Um, I forgot to check on the loot that was coming up to see if that's worth the investment or if we're going to get better stuff later. Although, running around with being able to prevent status issues... Ooh. All right, I got three, five, six people in the party. Three, four, five, six. Three hundred thousand gold. Ah, we get that. <laughs> All right, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and equip. So let's go ahead and get him. Okay, that just has a 33 defense, so yep. Um, defense is 75. All my absorbs are 70, except for the ruby vest. So, you know what? I think I'll stick with the Aeonian suit for the moment. Alright. Let's get her Vigilance hat. Mistrobe has defense of 54. So, other than the ruby vest, everything there is an upgrade. Ooh, I'll have to think about that one. Alright, in, oh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and... Magic Defense 10. Prevent all status ailments. Yeah, let's go ahead and get our Vigilance hat. And, oh yeah, definitely, definitely get that up to... Uh, the Vigilance Hat. The Mesomail. I think that's better anyway. Frog. He's got the Memory Cap right now. We'll go ahead and get the Vigilance Hat. And the Mesomail. Yeah, okay. And we need to finish getting Robo before we do anything else. In the meantime, let's sell a couple of things. Try to get some of that money back. We'll keep the Black Plate which absorbs shadow. We'll keep the white plate, the red plate, the blue plate. The ruby vest is a downer in all sense, so we'll go ahead and sell that. The memory cap. Yeah, that is in no way better than what they already have, so we'll go ahead and sell that. The triceratopper is... A downer in all sense, so we'll go ahead and sell that. 
the Aeonian Helm. No. The Vigilance Hat. We got one more for Robo. That Stone Helm. Yeah, let's uh, get rid of that. Keeping the Strength Speed and Magic Capsules. I forgot that we had five of each. We're going to have to go use those once we get the party back together. All right, and... Yeah, we're not selling anything else. All right, sweet. We get some loot. Oh, there's Robo. He's been working hard for hundreds of years. Y'all yeah, just gonna stand there and watch while I drag him off the pedestal? He's looking a little dirty too. <clears throat> Systems reactivated. Where, where am I? Oh, Chrono, how nice to finally see you again. Only a few moments may have passed for you, but I've been waiting for 400 years. However, my efforts were worthwhile. The forest is restored. Now shall we celebrate our 400 year reunion? <laughs> Ah, uh, camping. I realized something during the past 400 years. I believe we may have been incorrect in our assumption that Lavos was responsible for the creation of the gates. What do you mean? It is not a certainty, but I have come to believe it is possible that some entity wished us to witness these events, like a game developer. Perhaps it wanted us to see all of these various ages. Alternately, it may have wished to see them for itself. It seems almost as though it was reflecting on the days of its past. Or maybe they're referencing the player. Is that too meta? Nah, it's never too meta. Eleno. Person dies, see life pass by. Elder say. So this is the world watching his life pass by? <clears throat> Before death claims a man, he is made to bear witness a second time to those memories engraved most deeply upon his art. There may be fond memories among them, yes, but often as not, the ones which grieve us are the most profound. Knowing the end is approaching likely reactivates dormant feelings of regret and desire to return to moments in the past. Do you suppose that will happen when our time comes? Probably. Who knows? We might even find out for a character. Dun dun dun. Is there a point in time you'd want to return to, Luca? I... No. Not... Not really. She said unconvincingly. I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have asked. No, it's okay. It's just something I don't like to think about too much. But even if Lavos did not open the gates, his fate is clearly bound to that of the one who did. Lavos has played a role in every age we've seen. It is unknown to me whose memories these are. It is likely an entity greater than any of us. Perhaps we will not know until our journey has come to an end. Shall we turn in for the night? Says the being who doesn't need to sleep. But okay, whatever. Shall we dream another dream? <laughs> What's this? A red time gate? Hmm... It's almost like we're going to a place that somebody would have rather not mentioned. What's this? June 24th, 990. Dad promised to go hiking with me, but he blew me off again because of his research. I don't get it, but whatever. Who cares about stupid science anyway? Girls don't need to know about that stuff. I don't think that's the message they really wanted to send. The 
The password to shut down the device is the name of my one true love. Use it in an emergency. Taban. Lara. Hmm, I wonder if that's important. What is this thing anyway? Taban said to keep away from it, but it's so dusty. It surely wouldn't hurt to tidy it up a little bit. Dear me, my skirt, it's stuck. Luca, help. I can't pull it out. Oh no, Luca, enter the password, stop the machine. But I don't know it, Mom. Enter the password. A. R. There we go. I kind of liked it better when it was the controls and you had to type in Lara with the controls. Mommy, thank goodness. Luca. Oh, Luca. Hmm. It's like we got a chance to visit a time in our past. That was close. I think I'd better study a little more about machines in case anything like that ever happens again. Interesting. So inside our little dream in the campfire, we got a chance to visit that traumatic event that we were just talking about moments ago. Oh, hello, Robo. That was always weighing on your mind, was it not, Luca? You are always thinking of others. I have a present for you. It's a piece of amber I created using sap from the trees in the forest. It required 400 years and a great deal of pressurization to make. I hope you'll find it useful. Obtained Green Dream. Robo, you're so sweet. Thank you. And there we go. We got our party back. And if I remember right, we wanted to go ahead, and as much as I love having the uh, speed on her... Oh, nope. Never mind. We don't want that yet. The Green Dream is an accessory that automatically revives a KO'd wearer once. Uno. So, yeah, we're not going to waste that just yet. Uh, what we are going to do is... All right, we picked up all the boxing on this side of the space-time continuum. So we're going to head back out again. And we're going to go pick up the chests a second time and get the uh, unupgraded versions of them. I know, that's a lot of back and forth. And we also need to head into the uh, forest in 1000 AD on the other side of the log. Because I seem to recall there was something there. But I'm not 100% sure. It's that short-term memory thing. Or maybe we already picked that up? We could have picked that up last time. Uh, hmm. Oh, yeah, and there was a couple of... Th oh, bother. We forgot a couple of things in uh, 1000 AD. All right, we'll head back there in a second. Um... Got a banger dome. Nope. Go to Guardia Forest. Yes. Zoom. There we go. There's one of the ones I was thinking of. And that got us a power ring. What does a power ring do? I don't remember. Uh, what does a power ring do? It increases strength plus six. Okay. Um, well, we gotta go. All right, rage ban. Nope. Magic. Nope. Heroes badge. Oh no, he definitely needs to keep the speed. But that uh, dark mail. As much as I. Wait a second. We want to get him that Vigilance hat. There we go. 
Oh, somebody else had a strength boost. Maybe not. Okay, so we got that one. And, oh, that's right. There's two other non-upgradable ones we got to pick up. And uh, one's in the Hecarim Cave and the other is in Medina Village. Okay, so we need to go to Medina Village either way. Nope, not the Mystic Mountains. Medina Village. Yes, please. Hi, guys. Oh, that's right. You're not saying anything different just yet. But... There is that, uh... Sorry, just double-checking my notes. Your pennant. It's glowing. Well, it's not my pennant. It's technically Marley's pennant. This was that armory that was mentioned in the Kingdom of Zeal. That we don't seem able to get to at any other point in time. So this is in the non-upgradable list. Okay. The seal is broken. I will give you a treasure crafted by the Guru of Reason himself. To your right is a weapon which will enhance your strength. To your left is protective gear which will guard your life. Think well and choose whichever you need the most. Alright, so... <laughs> 13,000 years was a very long time. Balthazar, I go to you now. All right, so you only get one of the two boxes. In the interest of full disclosure, the box on the right is one of Chrono's swords. It is the best sword you can get. Asterisk. You're going to find an upgrade for this in very short order. Um, the and the box on the left is a safe helm which cuts physical damage by one-third and there's only two other helmets that are better than it. Um, so normally, usually, generally, you're better off going for the safe helm in the chest. Uh, the only thing is, this is the only way you can get the swallow, whereas you can charm a safe helm from, the lo from uh, another enemy in before too long. So... This isn't the only place you can get the safe helm. This is the only place you can get the swallow. You're not going to use the swallow for long if you get it, though. So if your goal is to collect one of everything that you could possibly ever get in the game, pick the swallow, because it's the only way you're getting it. If you're looking for the best deal for your time, get the helmet, which is what I'm going to do. Yay, we get a guardian helm. Sorry, I kept saying Safe Helm. That's the old name. Guardian Helm is the reissue name. Because, of course. So, that reduces... It has a higher defense than what I've already got. And it reduces physical damage by one-third. So the question is... Um, do I want prevent all status ailments or to reduce physical damage by one-third? I'll think on that in a moment. In the meantime, I'll keep the uh, no status effects. So we got that. 
Uh, he's still... No, that's the residence. Uh, there's the market. He's still outlandishly priced, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's the blade I've already got. Uh, mm. The luminous robes have better defense for the ladies. And a magic defense of plus five. And the radiant plate for the gentleman is... Well, better than everything but what Chrono's toting. And no other specials. The Radiant Helms are nothing but downers for the guys. Now here's the thing. Later, we're going to be able to get better prices out of this guy. So really, uh, if you want to buy it for the slight advantage, because right, we're talking about a defense of 63, 64. And what do we have right now? We've got a defense of... Uh, oh, sorry, that's me. It was 75. 54. Or 45 in Robo's case. So, yeah, it is a really nice up right now, but we'll be able to get that cheaper later. So, um, and we might have better, cheaper in the very near future, so kind of keep that in mind. All right, and on to the Hecarim Cave, where somewhere in here we should be able to find the other two, unless we already did that part. I can't remember. Um, I think we already did these ones. I seem to remember coming back through the Hecarim Cave, and I don't remember why. Was it here? Around and where we go. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. So there's our barrier ring. Hmm? There's something else in here. What in the world? It's a speed ring. Well, at least it's not suffering. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. Alright, so the speed ring increases speed plus three. The barrier ring increases magic defense by two. 10. Um, now, Robo had a speed belt, which is plus 2, so let's get him the speed ring because he needs it. Um, here is badge, magic scarf, that's magic plus 2. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get her the magic plus 6. And the Rage Band's fine. Silver Stud's fine. Um, hmm. Okay. Never mind. I think we've gone through... All we're going to go through at the moment. And now to head back to 600 AD one more time. Uh, that is going to make this episode a little bit longer, but I definitely want to finish this before we start the next episode. So uh, bear with me on the slightly longer, slightly longer trip. All right, so that's the Hecarim Cave, and that's the Northern Palace, and... Now we're going to go grab the last last three boxes here before we head on to the next part of the actual quest. We're almost done with our detour. <laughs> oh, it's always worth side questing for stuff. Matter of fact, uh, before too long, I, I probably ought to go through and see what I can sell and uh, unload some of the extra items and accessories that I'm not going to use. Um, especially if I come across something that I definitely know I'm not going to use. Uh, Mystic Mount. Nope. 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 I'm going to go to 680. Again.
actually. Just for kicks. Alright, let's get a healer of some sort. Not that we're going to need it, but okay. Oh, here they come to attack us again. Because we're going to keep picking up odd tech points here and there. Might as well uh, let Ayla collect them as they uh, as they accumulate. All right, so now we can go back to Trucin one more time. Since we've already picked them up in the future, we can now pick it up again in the past. And now we get a blue vest. So that is two items that absorb water magic. One restore absorbs half of it, the other all of it. So absorbs 50% of water damage, absorbs water damage. And we're going to do the same with the other ones too. So there that one is. One more trek through the forest. No, all, two more treks through the forest. we got to get there and back. Not quite a hobbit's journey, but uh, close enough. And then in the next episode, we will get back to adventuring. As soon as we finish our fetch quest for all the gear, all the loot. Yep, because I already picked up the upgraded version. And I got one more. One more trip. Give me shelter. No, I will not sing the song. A little bit of Science Strangers got my nose a little... Eh, you, you don't want me singing. Oh, look. A second robo working. Too bad you can't pick up two of them. Uh, that'd be kind of nice to have in a party, wouldn't it? Yep. Yep. There we go. All right, now let me get back to the end of time, and then I will call the episode a clip. Oh, I forgot that he did that. <laughs> it's one of the things that he does while he's doing his uh, tree farming. So he'll he'll be in scarecrow mode for a little bit, and then I'll switch over to tractor, and then you'll see him scattering seeds. Uh, I can't remember if those were the only three animations. We'll, we'll probably be crossing through here at least one or two more times. Uh, before all is said and done, so uh, we'll, we'll get a chance to to peek a little more as we go. But, uh, oh, my guys, why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, because she's got the rage band and... <laughs> How'd that work out for you, boys? Not too well? No, not too well at all. All right. And into the gate we go. I'll heal the three damage we took. <laughs> there we go. And while I'm thinking about it, we'll save. It'd be a shame to lose all that progress. And just real quick, what's he got to say? 
Ah, you've been to the Magic Kingdom. With that pillar of light sealed, you'll be needing to find a way to move... Th okay. Hmm. We'll find out what that's about, because that was the same thing that he said the last time we were here. So, sorry for the longer episode. I will definitely stop right here, say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, there I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, and there is a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow on Twitcher. Twitcher. <laughs> Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live and definitely, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted because I do more than just games revisited. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.